You know why we're here, so just put your hands up like this. We know. But we're good. I'm going to take that from you for a second, right? Yeah, of course. Hey, 
That guy has no badge number, nothing. Camera got shut off, right? That's when they started confronting me. Seven years from 
for uh, family full of police officers and I was like disgusting and uh Jacob, um, Jacob, right? Yes. Where's your ID at? It's in the backpack in my wallet. All right, you mind if I go grab it? Yeah. Where at in the backpack is it? I believe it's in the, uh, the top little compartment. The zipper. I'm going to bring it here, okay? And you can show me. Anna, just hang out with him for a minute. So you're not telling your camera, you're not free to leave right now. Okay. Hey, let me, um, this is his backpack. Yeah. Yep. Oh, your right backpack? backpack? Yep. Jacob, this is it? Yeah. Is this your wallet? Yes. I'm going to go in here and grab your ID, okay? Absolutely. Where at? Uh, I believe it's, yeah. No, that's your... Uh, there we are. Seven floor bonus here. Florida DL by number one, ready? Out of Florida, whiskey, one six zero four seven zero nine three one eight six zero. Hey, um, just just so you know, you guys hit this house not too long ago.
We got one in custody. Not in custody, but we're checking them out. Thank <laughs> you. 
do understand that I can still go. Stay way down there. I thought it pertained to him, but I thought it pertained to him, but I thought it pertained to him. 
So I think that's what we need to clarify. If it's one versus the other, then he could still be in violation. And that's why I was trying to get Gavin's attention, because if Tiffany called her husband, he could probably figure that out. Right, 
but you know, think of the context. Like, I have friends from the Gainesville area, big hunting area, big, you know, and up on mainland Florida, you have the panthers, you have the bears, you have, you know, things that can't actually harm you that you need protection against, which is the purpose of carrying when you're out hunting and fishing. There's also mass shootings, and like, if I was there, I would be able to protect Right, but I'm just saying that, you know, the, the, the purpose of the, the law is to protect yourself. Again, he just explained, this is a tourist area. There's no woods, there's no large animals out here trying to get you down. Yeah. You know, this is a family-oriented area. Yeah. There's families with yeah. small children. That's understandable. I, I and probably picked a bad spot. Yeah. Exactly. And, um, next it's, time, maybe, it's not common in Key West at all. Yeah. Open, you know, maybe next time I'll, I'll go to somewhere like uh, the Jumping Bridge or something like that. You know, you know where it's, it's far away. Just, just like I said, it's keep in mind the context. I can tell you right now, family. A lot of kids, a lot of uh, parents with kids take their kids to jumping bridge, which is one of the few things down here for kids to do. So maybe scope out the area first. If you see a lot of families with kids around, mix it for the day. Or go somewhere else. Or whatever, you know? Um, so, I mean, I, I get it. And obviously, cops are very pro Second Amendment people. And everybody here owns firearms outside of what we need for work. But, you know, there's common sense. There's reasonableness, there's context, there's being able to read your surroundings, you know? So, yeah, you're showing that you understand the rights and what you can and can't do, but you also have to show us that you're mature enough to yeah. look at the whole picture yeah, and make decisions. Yeah, if the law is willing to work with me, I'm willing to work with so, you guys. So, I mean... Yeah, I understand. I'll find a fly, uh, next time we go fishing, I'll find a fly, get a little piece of rock, scope it out first. Uh, you know, like I said, you gotta take the, the whole picture in when you make these kind of decisions. So, did you ever take it off with the strap on your back? Never. You kept it all strapped the whole time, yes. right? Hanging on the back of your car. Yes. You were fishing, right? Yes. I actually way about to start fishing and uh, I realized I forgot my EDT card at my house because it was my fishing license. So I was about to start having that. Yeah, I'm going to start fishing again. I
like our local academy is put on by our community college over on Slug Island. So you would have to pass whatever entry requirements that they have. Uh, some of these academies are put on by actual police departments. Um, License. All right. And uh, all right. Well, you know, like we were talking about, like your rights ended with the other people. Yeah. I know. Okay. Yeah. So listen, you say your rights don't ever end, right? Oh, well, you know what? The Constitution doesn't end. You're correct yeah. about that. But it doesn't for you when you, you know, upset someone or somebody's trying to defend their family. You're threatened. You're fucking happy. You know, and then you got a problem. I guess you won't, because you'll be dead, but you know what I mean. Uh, if the gun is slung right in the back of the barrel, it points its out until it's slipped around, and so am I still, is that self-defense? You know, I don't know. I guess that's yeah. for the, 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 that's for the courts, you know, I'm not, but the problem is that you went out there and, like, you know, I mean, we have a lot of rights, right? You know, I think it's taken away from you. Yeah, yeah. Can you take a moment? So, so here's, here's what I'm asking, right? It's kind of like, like, you know, you have brothers and sisters. Okay, so you have a brother, right? Did you ever, you know, like, did you ever, well, maybe you were the one doing this when you are a kid, where you're like, going, hey, there's free, there's free, you know, to fuck the shit out of him. Right? You know, which is, it might be free, but unless he punches you in the face, and it's not so free anymore. Well, but in a way, you know, you, you, you do when you do that. Because you don't know how everybody's going to perceive it. Yeah. And then we respond that here. And then if we see you doing something wrong, or, you know, then things go bad from there. You know, or if you react the wrong way when the cops show up. So that's what you got to do. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, you can do this. However, you know, is it recommendable? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I understand. And as I said, um, to the officer, she's a very nice lady. Um, I, I will pick a spot where I'll scope it out first, make sure it's like, you know, uh, no kids or families around, and I'll find a spot that's just... Yeah, well, it's kind of hard if you ask me to go Yeah. And you always run the danger, don't forget that. That's somebody, you know, we have a lot of crazies in there. Yeah. And, uh, they don't really but, care about you, but you know, yeah. they might find a shovel. Yeah, but also, it's there. always good to have, like, I mean, if there's crazy people out there, it's always good to have somebody but also think about you might not be the only one carrying, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm a mom, and I carry all the time, especially with my children. And, you know, who's to say I walk by? Just 
So knowing that you can only carry that open when you're actively fishing, if you don't have a CCW, what was your plan on? Well, well, it's on two or you can, you can, you can so, Right, but if he's walking. with you to go fishing, yeah. you could. If, well, I know it's hard for. Uh, Yeah. Este no lo voy a coger ahora. Huh? It's not loaded. Yeah. You have his information? No, I'm getting it right now. All right, good. Aldo, didn't we meet on Duval Street the other day? Yeah, you did. You're the one who came up to me and asked me about your house being raided. You remember that? No. Yeah. Date of birth? Um, 12, 27, yeah, okay, I'm Kurt Adder. Uh, Uh, I have, and then I'll have, and then I'll be able to get to you. Right. 